All right, welcome to the long weekend. I'm gonna show you how to do the long weekend properly. It takes three things, a bunch of mates, an awesome holiday house, and great food. And we're heading to Treachery Beach. We're gonna go for a quick wave, then head home, cook up a feast. You. All right, we're here at uh, Bluey's Beach. It's stunning, it's salty, the sun's setting, and we're doing epic barbecue dry aged ribeye with like a pickled sort of red onion salad. And we're doing it over like an old school open fire barbecue, but we're also gonna use the epic kitchen. You know, the best thing about having a whole house to yourself is you get a whole kitchen, it's completely kitted out. So I'm starving, let's get cooking. All righty, so these are our beautiful 30 day aged beef. All right, so the first step is to, we're gonna do a quick pickle with the onions. So we've got some red onions here and we're gonna slice them up really, really finely. And we're just gonna hit them with a bunch of salt, bunch of pepper, and any vinegar you have on hand. It can be white wine, uh, it can be apple cider vinegar. You even use balsamic if you wanted to, but I'm actually gonna use pickled vinegar. So it's gonna have like all the flavor from this brine. It's gonna have, you know, the cucumber, the chili, everything that's gone into here will go into the onion. So it's just a nice way of, you know, using it twice because it's so tasty, you know, pickle juice, you don't want to throw it away. But just make sure that, that brine really covers and softens. So we're gonna let them sit for about 10 minutes. Okay, so for the chimichurri butter, a mix of coriander, parsley, garlic. Okay, to that, I'm gonna add some oregano as well. And then I'll add some salt, pepper, olive oil, red wine. I'm gonna give that a really good mix. Once that chimichurri is all done, I'll add some butter you know, monte that together with some chopped up bone marrow. So I'm gonna cut some bone marrow out, oh, mix that where'd, through. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> All right, so that's our chimichurri butter. I'm just gonna whack it in the fridge. And the next step is we're gonna make our salad. So our onion is all pickled, it's ready to go. I'm gonna slice up some kale, slice up some cabbage, mix it with some mint. And that's it, it's time to put the beef. Alrighty, so that's our salad done and ready to rock and roll. The next step is to cook our beautiful beef and to start basting it with that bone marrow chimichurri butter. Just wanna let it sit there, just let it sit on one side and get a really nice, beautiful color and crust before you turn it by leaving it and letting it sort of crust and separate from the grill itself, it means you won't tear off that crust and you won't break the meat. So be patient. So you can see, you know, by leaving it there and getting that heat and that crust, it's like even layer of crust, there's salt stuck to it, it's caramelization, it's that stuff that gets stuck in your teeth, it's that, it's that flavor, it's that rock and roll, it's that steak is gonna be so unbelievably tasty. So on with the chimichurri butter, and we're just gonna let that melt. Looks like there's a lot of butter on there, but I'm gonna turn that in a second. So a lot of it will actually come off on the barbecue. The two ones to my right here are ready to come off, and you can see the chimichurri butter has crusted all the herbs and the bone marrow. Okay, so that's been resting for about 10, 15 minutes and that should be ready to go. So we're just gonna slice it. Oh, look at that. Blushing. And that is how you do a long weekend properly. Whole beach house to yourself, epic bunch of mates, and a really tasty feed. Thanks for watching. Peace out, check out the other episodes, because I'm gonna eat. Yep.